Hi Floss Tube. this is Renee from Gazelle's Nail Work. This is my channel about uh, cross stitch and other counted thread embroidery. And I am in California today. I'm actually in Windsor, California. My home's in Alabama. And I'm visiting with my sister Jen. And we're at her local needlework store. And we wanted to kind of follow up on um, a hashtag that's been on on uh, Instagram. It's called um, Jennifer Help Me. Uh, uh, common <laughs> common threaded, threaded stitchers. Stitcher, right? mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> one of the one of the most recent posts was about uh, your tell us about your local needlework store. I personally do not have one. Um, the nearest one's probably six hours away from my home. So I wind up uh, ordering most of my things from online or whenever I travel. Um, and I'm here to see Jennifer visit with her family. If you saw our last uh, post, uh, we, we were in Alabama for the summer and I brought her children back. They stayed with me over the summer. And so um, I'm back with her, her here in California, and I thought we would visit Jen's little work store and we could introduce you to the owner of that store. And so, Jen, you want to introduce? <laughs> we are at Threads Entwined with Trish. And let's see, Trish, how long have you been here? Um, we opened in November. Okay, November. Yeah. And um, is this your first shop? Yes. Okay. Yep. And you have more than just cross stitch, right? Yeah, I have um, yarn and um, quilting fabric. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just have notes. Um, let's see, how long have you been cross stitching? On and off since I was in high school. Okay. So, a long time. And you knit? And yep. Quilting? Yeah. I don't do any quilting. Okay. I can sew, but yeah, quilting is not my thing. And I know you do a lot of online orders yes. too, right? Mm -hmm. The shop's online, yeah. Okay. So. What other services do you offer? Do you host classes? Or? Um, right now we don't because the shop's so small, mm -hmm. we just don't have the space for it. So we're looking for a bigger space to expand so we can do more classes and group gatherings and that kind of thing. And it looks like you have more than just cross stitch supplies or needlework uh, count and thread supplies. What else do you carry in your store? Um, all the yarns, um, independent dyeing yarns. I don't carry any commercial yarns. Um, the supplies for knitting and crocheting, and then the supplies for quilting, so quilting fabrics and sewing. So one of the advantages I was um, mentioning to to Trish earlier, um, whenever you order online, you don't have the advantage of doing a floss toss. Um, you pretty much have to go with the call for fabrics and uh, threads, and um, so you don't have much flexibility in that. Or I don't have, I don't feel confident in doing that. And many times the dye lots, even though it's the same color fabric um, it it can it can vary greatly so um, that's one thing I miss about having a local needlework store and of course the other thing is being able to meet up with other stitchers and um, so do you have any kind of events here at night or in the evenings for little get-togethers we did for a while we were doing Tuesday nights we had stitchers and knitters and everybody come in together. Um, we kind of stopped that a little bit for the summer, and then hopefully once we find a bigger space in October, we'll be able to start that up again. Because the space is too small and it's just getting too crowded. So. so Jennifer, how did you learn? Um, whenever I come, I come to California to visit with Jennifer. We have been going to Needle in the Haystack, and that's about an hour. Hour, hour, and mm -hmm. hour and a half away and we go through some pretty heavy traffic on the way so um, I was 
you know, really excited to hear that Jennifer had a, a store within about 20 minutes of her. So I'm gonna let her tell you how she discovered Trish. Uh, well, I live in Northern California, Santa Rosa, and I was at work one day and I don't know how it came up. The patient, I'm a nurse, and the patient's wife kind of looked familiar and something came up about cross-stitch or needlework and I'm like are you a floss tuber because <laughs> she just had a familiar look and she's like no are you I'm like no <laughs> and anyway um, we're talking about all I have is Michaels and you know sometimes I guess like once or twice a year drive out to needle in the haystack and she was she told me about Trisha's store in Windsor and so it's like 20 minutes probably 10 minutes away from where I work and so I was glad to know I'm glad she told me about Trish because I just Google searched you know um, cross stitch stores near me and before the lady had told me about it all I had was an Alameda <laughs> so I've been coming by to see Trish a lot <laughs> she's about the only one to know that cross stitches um, there's one nurse at the hospital I found that cross stitches <laughs> There's a group in Santa Rosa, um, quite a few of those, and then they get together. I don't know exactly where they get together, but they do. I met one one person at StitchCon that lives in Santa Rosa, really close to me, but I need to look up her information again. Um, so another thing that's great about having a real needlework store is um, seeing the displays and right here to my left is um, is a display by Bendy Stitchy. And how did you wind up with some of this, <laughs> Trish? Um, I had talked to Michelle um, online a few times back and forth, and I had put a call out for um, shop samples. Mm -hmm. And she offered to send me some of the things that she'd stitched up so I can display them. And, um, and this is also Michelle's, Michelle's pattern here, pretty patterns. And by the door, there is one of Teresa the Nets. And so, of course, I had to get it kitted. And I wish I'd had the forethought to, to bring it here and, and show you. But. has kind of a, a Japanese flair. I'm not, I'm not coming up with the proper word for it, the proper term for it. But, a pagoda. Um, pagoda, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it's for, the, to me that's really interesting. I've never seen um, another sampler that, that had something like that. And the colors are just beautiful. Jennifer and I will show some of the stash that we got at the, at the end of our video. Um, we're gonna do a little more video to kind of give updates on our whips and um, and also um, our our goodies from, from here, from Trish. And setting off to the side here is Miss Emily, who decided not to be on camera just yet, but I think she's gonna, gonna show. Um, okay, that's fine. And, um, and well, anyway, she'll get a chance to talk about uh, what she's interested in doing next. And also, I think she has a finish that she wants to show. But anyway, thank you for joining us for this portion. Um, we will do another little bit that we go on to the end of this video where we show um, what we're doing. And um, so we'll see you later. Thanks. Thanks, Trish. Thank you. <laughs>